What to do if you are rebounding? Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about what to do if you are rebounding. So this means that you have recently got out of a relationship and now you are basically right into a new one and you are aware that you are rebounding. So what can you do in this kind of circumstance? What is the best advice that I have for you? So the first thing that I want you to kind of ask yourself and to consider is, does the person you are currently dating know that you are on the rebound? So obviously it's really important to tell the person that you're with, who you are currently dating, that you're in a rebound. So it's really important that you let them know that you've recently broken up with someone. And the reason why it's important to tell them is because obviously if you're watching something like this and you're in a rebound relationship, you you probably don't wanna hurt the new person that you're with. But if you are rebounding, there's a very high possibility that you could actually hurt the person that you are currently dating because you're not you're in a rebound relationship, you're not quite over the last one. And it does take a bit of time to get over relationships, especially if the relationship that you just got out of was a long-term relationship. Obviously, things that last only a few weeks don't really matter too much, but if you were in a long-term relationship, so you were with someone for a long time, so it could be a few years, or maybe you know just like about roughly a year, um, it's important to know that if you go straight from one relationship into another, you haven't quite processed the end of that relationship. So it's important to let the person you are currently dating know that you have only recently got out of a relationship. And it's important to do this for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is um, you are then honest, you become a more honest person, and it could be the case that you are hiding the fact that you um, only recently just got out of a relationship. And if you hide stuff like that, it doesn't do very good things to your self image and the way that you feel about yourself. So being honest is actually really, really gonna help you feel better about yourself if you are feeling guilty. Um, and also it helps the other person understand you more. If you've only recently got out of a relationship, then you're probably gonna be behaving in ways that they don't quite understand. So your emotions are still gonna be very raw about it. Um, you still may even be communicating with your ex. You may be feeling very confused. So you're gonna be behaving in ways that they're not gonna understand and it's gonna confuse them and they're not gonna understand why you're behaving in a certain way. So it's important to let that person know. It's good for you and it's also good for them. It makes you feel good about yourself to be honest and it also um, makes them understand you a bit more. Now, rebound relationships rarely work. So it's important if you really like this new person that you're dating that you start healing from that previous relationship, especially if you do want to make this new relationship work. However, if you don't really care about this person, if you don't really want this relationship to work, then I would really like it if you consider your morals and um, the, the ethics around basically what you're doing because um, that's not a very nice thing to do, okay? You can't play with other people, they're not your playthings. Um, and if you are behaving in that way, then I would highly suggest that you go and speak to a psychologist or something because if you're you know, behaving in ways where you're making people like your toys, that's really, really bad and it's not gonna end very well for you. Um, you're gonna alienate a lot of people from your life and a lot of people are gonna dislike you for doing stuff like that. Um, and do you really want to live your life where people dislike you? I don't think you do. So you need to kind of work through those issues and those problems if you're dating someone, let's say, to get back at your ex. So basically you're using this poor new person as someone to um, you know, get back at your ex to make them feel jealous. So obviously that's not a very nice thing to do. You need to really question your behaviors about that kind of thing and speak to a therapist or psychologist or something so you can start working through those problems. So if you wanna make it work, let's go into how you can actually make this relationship work um, and make it go from a rebound relationship to an actual healthy, normal relationship. So the first thing that you need to do obviously is to heal from the past relationship. 
So how can you do this? Personally, my favorite method of getting over things, dealing with past events, dealing with past relationships that I've had, whether they've been intimate relationships or relationships with family members, friends, and stuff like that, is to journal about it, to write down the experiences. Now you don't wanna write down as if you are intending someone to read it, so you're not writing as, as if it's a letter, you're purely writing down exactly what happened. You're purely writing down whatever happened, how, how you feel about it, all the things that you didn't like, um, all the things that you know made you angry or sad, in a way that it's just for you. It's just the pure, honest truth of what happened because that's gonna help you process what's happened. And it's also a really good idea to um, you know, write down things about what it taught you about people, what it taught you about the world, how it shaped you as a person, how it's made you do, you know, how this cause has made you do X, Y, and Z, you know, something like that. So you need to kind of uh, write down stuff like that. Now, again, like don't write it as if you're intending for someone to read it. Write it just purely for you. And also don't BS yourself. Make sure that you're telling the honest truth to yourself because you know you can pretend and you can lie to yourself and write down what you wanted to happen or write down what you wished had happened, um, but you're still gonna know that you're BSing yourself. So don't BS yourself, right? Just write down purely what happened. And if you don't want people to read it, then write it somewhere private or destroy it afterwards. You know, you don't have to have it around, you know, you don't have to keep it, okay? If you're enjoying the video so far, please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you'd like me to discuss something in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments or if you have any tips and advice yourself. Thank you so much. So healing from the relationship is really important. So again, you might wanna go to a psychologist or a therapist to talk about this kind of stuff if you have some really deep-rooted issues surrounding that relationship and you're finding it very difficult to heal from. Um, but of course, the biggest um, healer of relationships is time, which is why I don't recommend anyone going into a new relationship straight after they've came out of an old one, right? Um, because you do need time to process it. I think a healthy amount of time, like minimum, is about six months, especially if the relationship was a long-term relationship. So if it was something that lasted for six months plus, um, obviously if it lasted less than that, perhaps you don't need as much time to get over it. But if you were in a long-term committed relationship that you thought was gonna last, then you do need at least six months to have time on yourself, to have time by yourself and to process what happened to you, to learn from it, to learn from the mistakes you made, to kind of figure out what you don't want in the future. So perhaps there were some things about your ex that you didn't like that you would rather not have repeated. So you need to become aware of those things so you don't find them in a new relationship and you basically don't just start dating um, a different version of your ex, right? You don't wanna do that. So obviously as well, you wanna let this new person know, this new person who you're dating know that your uh, emotions are really raw right now, right? So let them know that, okay, I've only just came out of a relationship, perhaps it's been only been a few weeks, perhaps it's only just been like a couple of months, perhaps it's only been a few days, like who knows, but you need to let them know that your emotions are really raw and if, you, and you basically wanna say, I'm really sorry if at some times I'm really confusing to you, it's just that I came, I've only just come out of a relationship, okay? And that's kind of how you need to say that. You need to say to them that um, you're gonna, you might act in ways that you can't really help at the moment because you're highly emotional. You've just come out of a breakup, okay? So another thing to do is to start thinking less about your ex. Now, often when we come out of a breakup, we're still very emotionally involved with our ex. We may still have a lot of habits surrounding our ex. So we may still check to see if we got a message from them. We may still be stalking their social media pages. We may still be listening to playlists on Spotify that remind you of them, you know, things like that. So basically you wanna start cutting out those little habits that you may have surrounding your ex. So instead of, you know, stalking your ex's social media page, you know, read an ebook or, you know, watch some YouTube videos instead. So kind of replace those old habits that you have surrounding your ex with new habits, right? So um, the time that you spent thinking about your ex, spend it doing something else. So let's say you had an hour at break time when you're at work and on that break time you look up your ex or you think about your ex or something like that. Um, during your break time, do something else, like replace those habits with new ones. And that will help you think less about your ex. That will help you become less emotionally invested. Now it may take time because obviously habits can die 
quite hard depending on how deep rooted the habits are so be forgiving of yourself if sometimes you do relapse then okay admit that you relapsed and just get back on the horse okay so don't take it too bad don't be too harsh on yourself just take your time um, to heal over it to to get over it and to uh, change those habits so i've kind of already touched on this but it's really important to ask yourself this question and that question is do i really like this new person who i'm dating or am I using them as a way to get back at my ex to make my ex feel jealous? Okay, this is something you definitely need to ask yourself because it is a common experience as to why some people go into rebound relationships straight after a breakup. Okay, it's really important that you become, and it's okay, you know, if, if, you, if you are doing the negative thing and you don't really like this person that you're with or you only kind of like them um, and you are only with them because you you know, uh, trying to get back at your ex, you know, okay, be honest to yourself. If that's what's happening, if that's your experience, then, you know, that's your experience, that's what's going on. But you can't obviously then stay with that person. You need to break things off with them, obviously in the nicest way possible so you don't hurt their feelings. But if you're already in that kind of rebound relationship, you're not gonna be able to not hurt their feelings completely. They probably will feel, you know, they probably will feel really sad about it. Um, but there are, you know, obviously good ways and bad ways about dealing with that. So the way that I personally would deal with it is if you realize that you are only with them because you're trying to get back with your ex, the best thing for you to do is to probably say something like, um, just to let you know, I'm not really feeling it. Um, I have only just came out of a relationship. Um, I think it was a mistake for me to jump into a new one. Um, so I'm really sorry, but um, I'm gonna have to break things off with you. Um, it's nothing to do with you, it's all to do with me and please be, um, please believe that because that's exactly what's going on um, and I'm just really really sorry and just apologize. So that's kind of like the best way you need to do that, be honest about it, don't you know BS them, don't BS yourself, um, just be you know honest about it and apologetic because that's ultimately all you can do in that kind of circumstance. However, if you do really like them, there is another way that you can make it work and that is to not just let your relationship with this new person be the sole focus of your life. You know, have other areas that you're working on as well. So this might be your career, it might be a few hobbies, um, it could be um, the relationship you have with your family or the relationships you have with your friends. You know, have other areas of your life that are really important to you. Don't just let it be your relationships. You need to have other things outside of relationships that you know are meaningful to you. Perhaps you are a student and you're working towards your studies or perhaps you're already in a career, so it could be something to do with that or you could be finding a new career if you're not happy with the one you're currently in. You know, so start doing other things in your life that you think are really important that you want to work on perhaps you but perhaps you've been procrastinating on so it's really important that you do that it's really important that you focus on those areas um, and not just your love life because that will ultimately help you heal it won't make you feel so intense about your romantic relationships because you've got other areas that you're focusing on as well so you know also so have that relationship obviously make that one a priority obviously make it important but don't let it be your sole priority make sure you have other priorities as well if you are interested in personal development if you're interested in creating a better lifestyle for yourself um take basically tools, techniques, ideas that can, you know, create a better life for you, then I highly recommend that you go to my new channel, which is simply called Christine. It'll be up in the cards right here, but only go to that if you are actually interested in personal development and things like that. Um, don't go there if you're only interested in watching videos about relationships because that channel is not about relationships, dating or anything like that. It's solely about personal development and ideas about that kind of thing. So the last thing I kind of wanted to address is, um, I think it's really important if you have, if this has been a common experience for you, like has this happened to you before? Like you've got out of a relationship and you've gone straight into a new one within a matter of days or weeks um, and you haven't fully processed the old relationship. So if this is a current, if this is something that happens to you a lot or Perhaps this may be the first time it's happened to you, but I, so I still think you need to ask this question to yourself. And that is, you know, why do you feel the need to go from one relationship to another? Um, do you not like being on your own? Is that what the case is? Do, um, do you feel like you need to have a relationship to feel good about yourself, to feel um, attractive or something like that? You know, it's important to ask yourself these questions and there's no right or wrong answer, okay? Don't feel ashamed of yourself if you do feel like, oh, I, I feel like I can't go alone. I feel like I always need to be in a relationship because I don't like being on my own. So one of the, the best ways to kind of 
help this is to start enjoying your own company. You know, have some time alone, have some time doing things that you enjoy, you know, and perhaps you don't know what those things are. So you might need to explore and go into your hobbies and stuff and find out what those things are. You know, have some of that introspection um, and start discovering who you are because perhaps you've been someone who's always been in a relationship. So perhaps you got into relationships in your teens and you went again from like one relationship to another. Um, Perhaps you've always been in a relationship and it's always happened really fast for you. So you might not really know yourself very well. So you need to start getting to know who you are as a person. You need to start figuring out what you like and what you dislike. Not in relationships, not just in relationships, but in what you know your interests are as a person. Because if you like being on your own and you enjoy being, and you can find a way to entertain yourself, to enjoy yourself while you're alone, you can make your time productive while you're alone, you do really start to enjoy being on your own. And when and then when you do get into a relationship, you're not quite as, um, it's not quite as be all end all. Like it's not quite as dramatic because you know, if you that relationship ended, you would be fine on your own. You know, and that's a place where I've got to. Now I'm happily married. If my wife, for whatever reason, you know, cheated on me or hurt me in some way that was like completely unrepairable, Um, and I left that relationship, I know that I will be fine. Like I, because I like being on my own. Like I enjoy my own company. Like it's, I don't feel like I will need to get into a new relationship straight away because I don't mind being on my own. So that's kind of like the place where you need to get to where it doesn't really matter who you, it doesn't really matter if you do end up on your own because you enjoy being on your own. You enjoy your own company. So that's a really important place to get to. And that's what I think you need to do if you are in a rebound. Um, please let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much. And I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.